Hello everyone. We have so far learned the expression of entropy for an ideal gas or the exp expression for entropy change for an ideal gas. But what about other substances such as real gas, liquid or solid? So our today's topic is variation in entropy with temperature, pressure and volume for any substance. That means the, this expression can be applied for any other substance as well as for ideal gas too. So first of all we would find out the relationship for variation of entropy with temperature and volume okay for any other substance and in this regard we have to start from the expression of internal energy as a function of volume and temperature so that V equals to a function of V and T and its total differentiation total differential du has the expression del u del t v dt plus del u del v t dv and this one is equal to cv so it is cv dt plus del u del v t into dv so this is equation number one but from the fundamental equation of thermodynamics equation a which is du equals to tds minus p dv or by rearranging we can write here tds equals to du plus p dv so we have here du and here also du so du has the expression cv dt plus del u del v t plus dv so this whole right hand side should replace this du value okay so by putting the value of du from equation one in the above equation we get what we get we get tds is equal to this is written in place of du here this is the right hand side of equation one so instead of du we are writing these two terms which is CVDT plus del u del v t dv plus the second term of the previous equation which is p dv okay so we have finally got overall three terms in the right hand side of this equation and if this temperature part is taken to the right hand side then it will go to the denominator then dt would be written as dt by t and here the second and third terms should be multiplied by reciprocal of t okay and here dv is taken as common so we find here the two variables temperature and volume separately okay so we have the provision to make the temperature constant either or the volume constant okay so this equation 2 actually represents what this equation 2 is a completely generalized equation to measure the entropy change of any substance this is the main thing entropy change of any substance with respect to temperature and volume okay and at constant volume this term should become zero okay and in that case this equation should be reduced to ds equal to cv dt by t okay and this if this dt is taken to the left hand side then it would become del s by del t v because this is going on at constant volume so this the differentiation is actually not normal differentiation this is becoming partial differentiation because this is taking place with it is conditional okay at constant volume it is taking place so the final expression as in the form of equation 3 we get here del s del t v equals to cv by t so this cv by t here okay and if temperature is made constant then this part would vanish and this dv would go to the denominator here and since temperature is constant so this differentiation would become a partial differentiation that means del s by del v t okay so this way we get equation 4 as del s del v t equals to the second term of the previous equation number 2 okay so in the right hand side the dv term is vanished and the term which is left after sending this dv to the left hand side this term is left 1 by t del u del v t plus p so this is equation number 4 so equation 3 expresses entropy change with respect to temperature at constant volume for any substance and equation 4 with equation 4 expresses entropy change with respect to volume at constant temperature for any substance so for any substance is very important thing okay this any substance means any substance it may definitely it is ideal gas it is applicable for ideal gas and in case of real gas can also be uh, they can be applied in case of liquid or solid they can also apply it okay now just think for ideal gas, gas what would happen this is from the Joule's experiment this would this part would vary because this is zero from the Joule's experiment so you will simply get p by t okay and for real gas this value is n square a by b square okay so this way you can 
get the expression of entropy change with respect to volume at constant temperature and similarly the same thing for equation 3 also okay now variation of in entropy with respect to temperature and pressure okay so far we have discussed variation in entropy with respect to temperature and volume but now with respect to temperature and pressure so in this regard we have to take the enthalpy expression as a function of pressure and temperature as a function of p and d and its total differential dh must be equal to del h del t p dt plus del h del p t dp and we know this is equal to cp so it is cp dt plus del h del p t dp so this is equation number five and the fundamental thermodynamic equation for closed system it is dh equals to tds plus vtp we know this so we can apply this and by rearranging the same way tds equals to dh minus vtp and instead of dh we can put the whole right hand side of equation 5 so by putting the value of dh from equation 5 in the above equation we get the expression of tds that is actually this is the right hand side of equation 5 this is cpdt plus del h del pt to dp and this is the second term of the fifth equation which is minus vdp so overall we have got three terms in the right hand side of this equation particularly and if this t is taken to the right hand side then ds has the expression cp into dt by t and 1 by t into del h del pt minus p into dp this is equation number six so the same way uh, you keep the temperature constant and as well the pressure constant okay so let's proceed this equation number six is a completely generalized equation to measure the entropy change of any substance with respect to temperature and pressure so here both temperature and pressure are changing but if the pressure is kept constant then this part would vanish and result it would result d del s by del t p equals to cp by t so it equals to cp by t this is equation number seven and if the temperature is kept constant then the second first term would vanish the second term would be left and the dp part would go to the left hand side and it would give an expression of partial differentiation this is del s by del p t equals to 1 by t del h by del p t minus p this is equation number eight so equation seven expresses entropy change with respect to temperature at constant pressure for any substance and equation eight expresses the entropy change with respect to pressure at constant temperature for any substance now so which equations we have obtained so far here is a gist okay equation two okay equation three four and equation six seven eight all these equations have been derived today in today's lecture equation two expresses change in entropy with respect to temperature and volume for any substance equation three denotes change in entropy with respect to temperature at constant volume equation four denotes change in entropy with respect to volume at constant temperature for any substance equation six denotes change in entropy expression for change in entropy uh, with respect in terms of temperature and pressure or with respect to temperature and pressure uh, for any substance equation 7 denotes ch change in entropy with respect to temperature at constant pressure and finally equation 8 denotes change in entropy with respect to pressure at constant temperature okay so that's all for today thank you have a nice day